I got a request on one of my previous videos where I was looking at improving a PS Vita title. I believe it was the Borderlands video. Um, and in that request, they were asking about the Jack and Daxter collection. Um, I haven't played this on the PS Vita, but I have heard that it runs quite poorly. Um, so I decided to, you know, have a look at it and see if we can do anything to improve it. Um, I did play for a few minutes uh, earlier today just to, you know, verify that it actually does have some problems, and it most certainly does. Um, it runs with a pretty poor frame rate overall. So let's just see what we can do to fix this and see if it becomes a lot more playable. So this is basically the default settings. I've actually, I played for a few minutes just to, uh, you know, get past the intro and get it started up. Um, but you can see there at the top left, it's uh, it's locked at 20 FPS. Um, you know, I don't have any overclocks or anything like that. And it, you know, it's not an overclocking issue. So, you know, if I set these higher, the, the uh, GPU and the CPU, um, it doesn't make a difference. You can see there, it actually doesn't make a difference. Um, so we'll just load up. I just played for a moment just so we don't have to watch the intro, like I said. So here we are in game, uh, 20 FPS, you know, that's overclock on. We can turn it off, it doesn't make a difference. Uh, and that's because it's not that the Vita can't keep up with the title, um, it's that the title is actually has a you know an artificial FPS cap on it. So they set it at 20. I don't know why they did this. It could be, you know, a battery thing or I don't know. Um, but, you know, it looks pretty terrible on the screen capture. It looks pretty bad in person too. It's choppy. Um, it's actually giving me motion sickness a little bit. Um, so, you know, it's not a, it's not a performance issue. So like I said, we can set this up really high. Um, you know, these don't actually change, but that's the CPU, that's the GPU. We'll set those up. And like I said, you know, it's stuck at 20. Um, so this is actually one of the easier games to fix from what I played around with the other day. Um, so you basically just come out here. Um, Vita graphics is really what you need for this title. So this one here, you know, it allows you, I've used it in my other videos, but it allows you to do things like change, um, change resolution in some games. And that can help a lot if you have poor performance. So in Borderlands, um, you know, I set the resolution lower, which actually helped quite a bit. Um, you don't even have to overclock if you set the resolution lower. Um, but if you do both, it performs really well. But let's go over here and we'll look at Jack and Daxter. Uh, so that was the first game. You, so you come in here and you go to FPS cap. So right now, you know, this default is off. You can set it to 20. You can set it to 30. Um, I would personally just set it to 30. Um, let's have a look at that and see how it looks. Um, you know, you can definitely set it at 60 if you want, but let's try 30 first and we'll see how it works. I decided to do this without screen recording, um, you know, directly from my iPhone. I wanted to do screen capture. Uh, it looks a little bit different. You know, you're not gonna get the exact performance you'll get, you know, on the eye from the Vita itself, but the screen capture is, uh, it's pretty good. Like for example, you see some aliasing here on the screen capture, but you can't really see that in person. All right, so we're set at max 30. Let's see if we even need an overclock here. I, you know, we'll turn that all off. And we're set at 30. And let's see if we can maintain 30. Already it looks substantially smoother. Uh, it looks good on the video. Uh, it looks way better to me. I'm not getting immediately motion sick. Um, it, it was very choppy before. So, you know, it looks like we're able to maintain a nice smooth 30 here. Oh, that's another save, okay. Okay, and just as a kind of proof of concept, here it is uh, with those same settings, but on the actual handheld. Um, you know, it, it, doing screen capture is nice. It does help, you know, in some ways get rid of glare and things like that. But for a console like the PS Vita, unless you're doing like a Let's Play or something, um, it's not actually really in, indicative of what you're actually seeing. Um, you know, 30 FPS on that screen capture doesn't look that great. Um, you know, there's input lag and just, you know, the resolution and everything. But actually on the device itself, 30 FPS looks really, really nice, actually. So this looks, um, it actually looks marvelous, to be honest. This is, um, you know, much more what you're actually going to see in person. So I like to do both. Um, I did get, you know, I got... A lot of people were bothering me when I was doing just, you know, external device capture like I'm doing right now for PS Vita and for the Switch. 
Um, but really, I mean, it's a handheld device and that's what you see. But you can see here that, you know, externally when it's actually playing on the Vita itself, it looks really, really nice um, with this 30 FPS cap here um, in kind of perfect actually, so. Okay, so whatever, it looks fine. I mean, it, there's no performance issues here. So, you know, you don't even need the overclock. It's all base here. I mean, let's see if we can underclock. Yeah, so you can underclock uh, just try to save battery, but it doesn't work here. So you actually do need that stock clock. Uh, it looks like, you know, if you underclock it even a little bit there to 222, um, in this case, it actually doesn't keep up. Um, still above 20, but you're not getting that 30, and it, it does decrease the performance. So, okay, so we'll do one more thing. We'll actually test it with uh, 60 FPS, because why not? Um, typically with handhelds, you know, 30 is enough. If you can maintain 30, when it drops down repeatedly going, you know, up and down, up and down, that's when you really notice it. Uh, but you know, 60 FPS is obviously a really nice sweet spot. Um, but you know, on consoles, I usually I'm fine with 30. But let's go 60 anyways. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, so you can see on the top left there, the Vita Graphics has set it to the default resolution, but it is setting that cap to FPS cap to 60. Okay, so now we're set, like I said, to 60 um, as a max, and we're not able to maintain 60. You know, it is decreasing and increasing. It is able to get to 60, you know, some of these less populated areas. And that looks really nice and smooth, but you can see that slowdown there. Um, it's actually worse having it set to a 60 max and then trying to maintain, you know, slightly above 30. It's actually slowing down even though it says 30. There's a lot of lag there. Um, but let's try overclocking it. You can see there the CPU is being obliterated basically. Okay, so now we have an overclock on pretty much the max you can go. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty smooth at some times, at some points, but you can see there it's going up and down and up and down. Um, and it actually seems to be performing worse here. Um, I don't really know how to describe it, but it looks a little bit laggy. Um, and it could be because it's, you know, jumping up and down. Like you see here, it's at 60 and it's pretty static and it looks not bad, no problems. But then when we turn, you know, it drops down quite a bit and that change in FPS is actually pretty shocking. So um, from that, you know, I would actually not set it to 60 FPS. I mean, it just doesn't look great. Um, it's, it's too choppy and the FPS is going up and down and you have to overclock to get there. Whereas at 30 FPS, if you use greedy graphics, uh, you can just leave it at stock and it's nice and smooth. Um, however, we'll try one more thing just to see what it does because I'm curious now. Um, so let's, uh, let's change the resolution. I believe that's the native. Uh, so we'll just set it a little bit lower. I'm just curious to see what it will do. There you can see we're at 60 FPS, but we have a different resolution. Okay, so here we are in game. Uh, we have a lower resolution. Um, we dropped the resolution a bit and we left the frame cap, frame limit cap at 60. Um, you know, it's smooth over there, but it's still dropping down. So you can see there, you know, when you go to these more populated areas, there's a, a drop. And it's often that change in FPS that really is shocking. So, you know, personally, I wouldn't play it this way. Um, I don't really like the way that it looks. I would personally set it, um, you know, use, it, use Vita graphics. You don't even need an overclock this way. So you're not gonna compromise any battery life. But what I would do personally is come in here and set the, you know, leave the resolution at default, but then I would set the frame limit, uh, frame cap limit to just 30. So leave that as default, uh, which is off. Go like that, set that to 30. And, you know, a lot of people are always shooting for that 60 FPS. But in a lot of titles, it's actually not required, especially on handheld. You know, if you're on a big screen, um, you know, action packed games, 60 FPS is really nice. Um, but, you know, a lot of consoles, home consoles set to 30 as, you know, they just lock it to 30. Um, and especially for handhelds, it's, it's really not going to make a big difference. It's all about consistency where you're not fluctuating up and down. And that's where you really notice that it's playing smoothly. Okay, so here we are back one more time. And you can see here, you know, it's, it's, stuck at 30 um, it's just generally a lot smoother there's no drop 
you can see there it's nice and consistent and when you have that consistent frame rate you know you're stuck at 30 it's nice and consistent it doesn't really take away from the game it's much really much more playable um, so this one's actually an easy fix you know you don't need to play around with overclocking settings you know I have them turned on you can turn them all off um, you know if, maybe if you get to a really dense area it might drop down quite a bit I haven't got that far in the game you know you can always set this up here but from what I'm seeing you know we're maintaining 30 no problem at this resolution which is the default resolution and it's nice and smooth um, so you know that's an easy fix all you need for this title basically is Vita graphics and you're good to go all right well thanks for watching